This is how you make your machinist friends cry. You get the world's cheapest, smallest, flimsiest um, drill press, and you use it as a lathe. Here I am shortening down a obsolete Svarog Universal pin to make, hopefully, a lighter version of the Paradox slug. I'm not sure the difference in missing volume with this conical shape versus the normal more trapezoidal section of the hollow in the standard paradox, but we'll find out. Anyway, let's show my super fancy setup. That is the rigidity every machinist loves to see. Let that run for you a little bit. And there we are, we've eliminated the little nipple that is for locating a screw. And this is what we get. Let's see if I can make that focus. So. So for reference, here is the core pin for the standard Paradox base. This is the one that comes with it. You can see it is maybe a 20 degree angle cone that's faced off that is maybe 8 millimeters tall. Here is the universal pin that allows you to screw it onto a wad to make a Brennicky out of just about anything, although I believe you kind of have to put it in upside down. And Bacon had a few of those that were out of spec that he sent me, and I modified them so they fit. This is one that I ground off, leaving eh, about that much. Called up maybe three sixteenths of an inch, three millimeter. And I rounded it just a little bit and polished it up. Here's what it starts looking like again, so just you can see comparison. And here's the one that I just did. I can probably polish up more with a bit of rouge. Let's try to make that focus. So I just took off that little nipple and radius the corner a little bit so it won't be sticky. These are kind of an interesting mold because you it's almost hard to get the core pin to cool enough to not be sweating when the uh, slug is solidified. So it's sort of the opposite of most hollow point or hollow base molds where you're struggling to keep the core pin hot with these you have to just let it cool longer than you otherwise would so it's not a high production mold it's a high quality projectile mold just a quick little addendum I tried casting with the button style modified mold and I discovered that it needed a little bit more draft to release cleanly so I stuck it back on my little 
quote-unquote lathe arbor, and I use a fine-cut mill file to give it a little bit more draft angle and radius the corner and then touch it back up with the 600 grit sandpaper and found that it dropped quite nicely. So I'll be sending some of these off to James, that's loads of bacon, and MIC. Um, I'm not sure how he wants to pronounce it. Mike, M-I-C. At any rate, he should be testing these through a couple different full rifled slug barrels. And um, these will be cast, the ones I send to Mike, out of mostly wheel weight alloy in the neighborhood of 13 Grinnell. And I should power coat them for him too. So I'm looking forward to seeing his results with that. For myself, I will be casting them out of soft lead and shooting them out of my Sega 12 with and without a rifled choke, as well as the ones using the special wad that clip in to make them Brennicky style.